everybody to Local Live here at Making Music in downtown Frederick. My name is Ashley and I'm in the local band Vinyl Rhino and I write songs in my original band Slingshot. But today, it ain't about me, it's about these good looking people here in the store and they are called The Dirty Middle. So say hello to our at home guests. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> hey yeah, thanks for taking a watch. Sorry, we're just sharing the link so that everybody I'll see can. Myself too, right? Yeah, do you see yourself? It's like Inception. You're like, wow, that's me live. What am I? Yeah, it's like if you wanted to check your. So you need to share because like I can't figure out how to share it. Too. You're totally good. Yeah. Dustin's got it. Twenty and one on the dirty little one too. Oh, you got it. You got it. So let's start out chatting with Adrian here. So first, actually, do you want to go around and say your name? So this is and what you do in the band. I'm Adrian, and I do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, 
like, you know, that I'm still awake at 5.30 in the morning, so I will probably hear you. It's that artist lifestyle. So tell me a little about how you individually got started in your craft as a player. So Justin, how did you, have you always been a percussionist? Uh, yeah, pretty much since I was nine. Okay. But I also picked up the violin around the same age, um, but I just stuck with the drums. No violin for you. Well, I played that We're not feeling that Charlie Daniels moment. <laughs> uh, I love Charlie Daniels, but nah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was just the drums were my passion, uh, so I played that. I played the violin also through high school, but then like I just did drums. Yeah. Yeah. And my parents would tell you I used to have a little Fisher Price little thing. And <laughs> I believe it. Marching around with Mary Poppins as a little kid. Uh, I like, all oh, started. That's nice. That's nice. Hey, lad. <laughs> the, American, the Mary Poppins reboot just came out. Were you yeah, like nostalgic? Was, Were you drumming along? No, I mean, it was nothing. It was like, you know, future. So it was like not a remake of. Mm, uh, that's Mary right. Yeah. So not the same. Kind of, no, no, not the same. Oh, I'm sorry, Justin. Before I got my start. Yeah. <laughs> we get a lot of people drummers that are in there, they're like, yeah, Rush, and, and Black Step, and you're like, Mary Poppins. Like, yeah. Got me going. When you grow that's older, a when you grow older, obviously. All these days, <laughs> yeah, but, you yeah. know, that's where I started. This is the very first time I started hitting on a little drum. I like that's it. Nice. That's adorable, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, that's oh, yeah. Pony Man. Pony Man. Pony Boy. What about you, Pony Boy? I just want to say Pony Boy. Pony Boy. It's 
So wait, so you, that's how you get free lessons. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to make a music here, and all my friends that tell me, but you just join a band with someone who teaches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, and I've learned pretty much everything from him, and uh, that's a compliment to me, mm -hmm. honestly. Oh, it's, 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 he's a much better bassist than I am. Uh, we haven't even got to the lady in the band, and I'm feeling so emo, like the sensitive nature of these boys. Yeah, we love him. He's a man. He's bonding over here, learning new things. Oh yeah, no we're and what were some of your influences? Um, I don't know. Uh, mostly classic rock was always my main music. Like Yes, the Yes album and like Asia. Oh wow. And all that stuff my parents would play constantly. Um, but yeah, mostly classic rock stuff. I got into the punk thing there for a minute. Um, but after I moved to Canada, I think that stopped changing. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to be a punk when you're bald. Oh, it's a nice show. Yeah, I know. I'm also like, <laughs>
Um, let's see, we have RJ Stone watching. Hey RJ, hey Eric Noll, hey Angie Few. Hey Daniel Knight the second. Oh, he's talented though. He is. I know. Oh, you know him too? Oh, you guys pull together. Oh my gosh, very cool. Well, that's a, um, Michael Gray. Michael Gray's gonna be our guest on um, May seventh. Fantastic drummer. Uh, ch check him out, Justin. Michael Gray. I don't know if he yeah. plays violin, but I'm sure he's gonna pop into him. It's that boy. <laughs> Well, would you guys do us the honor of playing a song for us now? Sure. Absolutely. Okay, cool. So this is Local Live at Making Music. I'm your host, Ashley, and today we have the awesome Dirty Minogue. And what are you going to play for us? That's called, it's an original I wrote called Mama Don't Know My Name. I love it. I looked it up and I 
I was looking at your description and I, and I checked out some stuff and I was like, pleasant ways to brought. Not that death metal doesn't have its wonderful place. Oh, in no. We're all doing it. We're trying to have a beer at a brewery. The last thing we want is like, yeah, yeah. Well, that's an eye. There you go. There you go. Let's just put, let's just make it all. Actually, you know what?
Wait, are you saying Jamiroquai candy? No. No, 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 the band, the band no. candy. Yeah. I was like, that would be interesting to hear you guys do that. You need about four more people. Yeah. I don't know, if I had to, like, I, I mean, I would definitely like to play um, outside of this area. Okay. Um, I'd like to record. Record, yeah, to record yeah. and to write, yeah. I think, would be my main focus. Yeah. Those mm-hmm. things that I want for this. Well, you know, just put it out there, right? Like the secret. Like, if yeah. you guys just say it on the show, yeah. and like maybe someone will be like, hey, I have a studio, and I'm looking to help out some friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I that the breweries were here every year, we just that more. And it's the brew, brewery circuit, for some reason, they love us. Well, like, yeah, I think you guys, I mean, like, just hearing your one song and the stuff I saw online, I think you have that, like, like I said, you're bluesy, but you're yeah. feeling happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> we're, oh, yeah, we're an extremely fun band. You know, when you go and see us, you're, us too. you're Yeah, I was going to say, like, <laughs> earlier you're like, I like music, and now you're like, we're fine. <laughs> is uh
well, that's always there. It's always, it's always there. there. Yeah. But was it, was it born of a, yes. of a moment? Yeah, it was just in a moment, and uh, <laughs> well, you did it, and I yeah. did it, and you did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was great. What a vibe, you guys. We've got some comments. Uh, Nikki, uh, Nikki Fly, she said, is that Adrian? She is awesome. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, Lynn Endra said, this band rocks. Thanks, Lynn. All right, so tell us where we can catch you this Saturday. Yeah, Jockey's Bar, Jockey Bar in Boonesboro from 8 to 11. 8 to 11. And if they're not free this Saturday, any other local gigs you wanted to shout out to coming up? Yeah, I'm playing um, May 5th for the listening sessions at Cafe Nola. Okay. And that's on the Sunday the 5th. And Pico then, de Mayo? Yeah. And then we are playing um, May 11th at Milltown Brewery from 5 to 8. Oh, yay. Awesome. Well, you guys, please check out The Dirty Middle. Thank you so much for being my guest today on Most Alive at Making Music. And we'll see you on May 7th for Michael Gray. Also, remember, the Rock and Roll Yard sale is going to be May 11th. Uh, if you can squeeze that in around the time of their gig. And it's the 35th anniversary this summer here at Making Music. I'm your host, Ashley Marie Ivano Rhino. Check out The Dirty Middle. Thank you, guys. Bye. <laughs>